I'm here with Dr. Romano to do problems about logs. Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, a professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products and the author of the Dead Destroyer book. I'm here today to work with Professor Blois and he's going to teach us about logs and manipulations of logs that you're going to need for the DAT exam. So, Professor, if you can give us some good information on logs, we oh, appreciate right. it. I'll do my best. Professor Blois here. This is a little lesson on logarithms, make it as compact as possible. Here are the basic laws of logarithms that you should get familiar with and internalize. Log of a times b is equal to log of a plus b. I'm sure you've seen these before. Log of a divided by b is log of a minus b. Log of a to the nth power, the n can be brought down as a coefficient, is equal to n times the log of a. All right, there's also another important relation you should know, the conversion from logarithmic form to exponential form and vice versa. Log base b of x equals n converts to b to the n is equal to x. So in other words, if you have 3 squared is equal to 9, that converts, that's my exponential form, that will convert to log base 3 of 9 is equal to 2. Okay. So once we have these basic laws of logs internalized, let's go and do some problems. Okay, here's a typical type of logarithmic problem you'll see on the dash. If x equals log 2 and y equals log 3, find an expression for log of 72 in terms of x and y. All right, well, how do we do that? Well, one way to do that, or the way to do this, is to decompose 72 into the product of twos and threes. We'll find the uh, prime factorization of that. Well, I know that 72 is 9 times 8. 9 is uh, 3 squared, right? Uh, 9 is 3 times 3, and 8 is 2 times 2 times 2. So I can write, I let me write this in a different color, log of 72 is equal to log of 3 squared times 2 to the third power. All right. So from that, we're going to use the laws of logs to expand that and express the entire uh, expression in terms of log 2 and log 3. So let's bring this up here, and we have log of 3 squared times 2 cubed. Let's use the first law of logs. The log of a times b is the sum of the two logs. So this is going to be log of 3 squared plus log of 2 cubed. The product is then turned into a sum. Now we're going to use the exponential law of logarithms by bringing these exponents down as coefficients. Log of 3 squared is equal to 2 times the log of 3. And log of 2 cubed, I bring the 3 down as a coefficient, is 3 times the log of 2. All right, back to our original problem. y is equal to log 3, so we can rewrite 2 times log 3 is 2 times y. And x equals log 2, so this is equal to plus 3x. So there is our expression. That's the log of 72 expressed in terms of x and y. Okay, now let's go on to this next one. This is a similar to the, the original problem. A equals log 7 and B equals log 10. Find an expression for this. Zero point, how many zeros do we have there? Uh, three, six, seven, eight, and then a seven. Express that in terms of X and Y, and that should be express that in terms of A and B, of course. So let me write that A and B. Let's write this expression in scientific notation. This is log of 7 times 10, 7 times 10 to the what? Well, let's see, how many decimal places are we moving? 3, 6, 9. So is this 7 times 10 to the minus 9? All right. Let's again use our law of logarithms. The log of a product is the sum of the logs of the individual factors. So we have log of 7 plus log of 10 to the minus 9th. All right, and what's that going to give us? That is going to give us log of 7, we know is uh, equal to a. And the second expression, I can bring the negative 9 down as a coefficient. It's negative 9 times 10 times the log of 10. We know the log of 10 is equal to b, so the answer here is a minus 
9b, and there is the value of our expression, again, using the law, uh, laws of logs. Okay, let's do this one. Find the value of x. 6 times log base 4 of x equals 18. What's the value of x going to be? Let's first simplify this by dividing both sides by 6. We'll get log base 4 of x is equal to 3, right? Dividing by 3. Now, how do we do this? Well, this is going to call upon our conversion line here, the conversion from logarithmic form to exponential form. Log base 4 of x equals 3. The base is 4. The exponent is 3. The value is x. And x is 4 to the third power. 4 times 4 times 4. x is equal to 64. So there's the solution there. All right. Two more log problems here. Let's create a little space here, and we're going to be using the same laws of logarithms that we've been using all along. Look at this one. Solve for y. Log base 7 of 240 minus log base 7 of 6 equals log base 7 of 8 plus log base 7 of y. Well, now we're going to use this first and second laws in the reverse direction. The, the, log, the difference of two logs is the log of their quotient. So this first expression, log base 7 of 240 minus log base 7 of 6, is going to be log base 7 of 240 divided by 6. On the right side of the equation, the sum of the logs is going to convert to the log of the product of those values, the log base 7 of 8 times y. So here we have the log base 7 of 240 over 6 equals the log base 7 of 8y. Well, uh, this is, uh, if I take the anti-log of both sides, I'm taking the, the, the log of the same base of both quantities on each side of the equation. So I can write 240 over 6 is equal to 8 times y. If the logarithms of the two values are equal, then the quantities themselves are equal. So this is equal to 40 equals 8y, and therefore the value of y is equal to 5. Not all that bad. Okay, so now let's create some space to do this final logarithmic problem over here. Solve for m. Log base 5 of m to the ninth is equal to 18. So now we're going to use Again, the same suite of lo laws of logarithms. Log base 5 of m to the ninth. The 9 can be brought down by this third rule of exponentiation as a coefficient. 9 times log base 5 of m is equal to 18. Now I think it's pretty clear what to do. We can divide both sides by 9 to get log base 5 of m is equal to 2. And now we're going to use the conversion from logarithmic form to exponential form. Here is logarithmic form. How do we convert it to exponential form? The base is 5, the exponent is 2, the resulting number is m, and 5 squared is 25. So there's a little sampling of the kind of logarithmic problems you would encounter on the dash. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. This is everything that I think you need to do on logs. How extensive do you think if the kids knew this for the dad? You think oh, they're set This or? just about covers it. This just about covers the kind of range of problems that you would find on the dad. All right, you heard it from the professor, so go over this video a few times. A little tricky here and there, but I think with practice, you'll master it. All right, if you got any questions, hit us up on the study group. Thank you very much, Professor Boyce. My pleasure. Okay, guys, good day to you. Bye-bye.